Hi, hello. Welcome to 3D Light Digital Tutorials. Today I am going to show you what is Pivot Point. So let's start creating with a cylinder here. You can see I can just create a cylinder in the viewport and in the side viewport I just moved my cylinder over the grid so it will be easy for me. So that's why I just moved it over the grid and see uh, you can see my cylinder in the grid and uh, you can see the pivot point of my cylinder it's in the center now what i am doing is i'm just duplicating the cylinder uh, but control uh, control d is the shortcut for duplicating the objects i just duplicated it and it's just moved my duplicated cylinder aside so you can two see two cylinders now and uh, the second cylinder which i duplicated now the pivot point of the second cylinder. Uh, press 4 on the keyboard to see the wireframe of the cylinder, and I just uh, hold D on the keyboard, and then I just move the pivot point of the keyboard, uh, pivot point of the cylinder. So you can see that my first cylinder is having its pivot point in the center, and the second cylinder, its pivot point is on the uh, is on the tip of the cylinder. Now you can see that. Clearly, the scaling of both the cylinders vary. If I scale the first cylinder, if I rotate the first cylinder, it's rotating from the center. But whereas if I rotate the second cylinder, whose pivot point has been changed to the tip, it's rotating from the bottom. It's like a uh, pivot point acts like a constraint. It's it's acting like a constraint of the cylinder, and it's making the cylinder to move from that act uh, from that particular point. You can even see the scaling of the cylinder uh, is different from the first cylinder. So just go with the cube and take the uh, and make the pivot point change and let's see what going to happen. I just took a cube and I just make it uh, scale in the y axis and little bit in the x axis and just moved it upside and uh, I just duplicated the same. I just duplicated the cube again. Uh, I want a duplicate copy to work on with. I'm sorry, uh, oh yeah, got it. Uh, here is a duplicate copy of the cube, and you can see the both the pivot points are in the center. So what I'm going to do now is uh, uh, I'm going to change the pivot point of the second cube. Uh, this is the cube. I will just uh, press four on the keyboard and hold. Uh, you can even press insert key on the keyboard, and you can even change the pivot point. I just press insert key on my keyboard and I just uh, change my power point. You can see the power point now. It's on the edge of the cube. Uh, whereas uh, the first cube, first uh, box will, is having its power point on the center. It's having its power point. And whereas this uh, box is having its power point on the edge. Now let's see with different transformations and how it's going to affect. Uh, if I if I scale it, uh, the second cube whose power point is uh, is on the tip. It's scaling from the is scaling from a particular axis. Oh, what happened? You yeah, just give me a second. Yes. Yeah. Now it's it. Uh, but whereas the second cube, uh, second box, it's scaling globally. It's scaling uh, globally. But whereas this one is scaling like it's scaling from a particular axis. And even the rotation also, it's scaling like it's opening like a door. Uh, but whereas this cube. A pivot point whose pivot point is on the center it's acting like a normal cube but whereas this one it's acting like a door opening a door something like that you can you can clearly see the both the difference uh, of, I mean both the uh, both the boxes they're acting differently with the uh, scaling rotation or, uh, or even in moving also actually or even moving also huh? uh, you can see them clearly uh, now we'll do one thing. I'll just uh, I, uh, there is another way to change the pivot point that is using the values. You can even type that values of pivot point. Uh, press Control A that is attribute editor. Press any object and press Control A on your keyboard. And uh, in the PC cube too, this is the cube uh, which I created. And you can see display rotate pivot and display scale pivot. Activate, uh, no, right now I'm going to change only the uh, rotate pivot. I'll just select the cube and I'll switch on the display rotate pivot over here. I can switch on and switch it off anytime over here. 
I'll switch it on and in the world rotate axis and the local uh, you can see local space and world space I'll just uh, type some values I type 5 oh it's very big I'll just type you you can see the gizmo moving over there yeah yeah one is okay actually I typed one actually it's also over the top of the cube you can see the uh, gizmo moving around uh, I mean uh, the pivot point moving around I'll just type 125 okay this is okay and you can see that this is actually a, another way of uh, moving the pivot point with values you can enter any value and you can move your pivot point it's like uh, going with values in some cases where you need to enter value exact values to make it perfectly uh, circular or perfectly circular or something like that then in that case you can use this one now uh, you can see that I entered a value of 3 and uh, it's rotating like a uh, it's rotating in an exactly circular way now let's go with an another example of uh, uh, what's exact? What's the use of pivot point? I just created a cylinder and I just scaled it up uh, a little bit and I just created an axis, z axis, uh, z axis to make it look like a flap. Actually, it, it, it's, it's a basically a small flap or something like that, just like that. I just created it and I'm just going to show you the uh, pivot point using groups. What's the use of the pivot point? I just assigned a new material, just Lambert material or something like that. Just, uh, just to give some colors to it. Okay, okay, and then yes, press five on your keyboard. And here you go. Here is my model. Is actually what I'm going to do is now, I'm going to access Outliner. Uh, you can see Outliner in the Windows Outliner. Yes, and you can see that the PC cube is the one which I created. This is the only one which is available in the uh, whole scene. I mean, created object in the whole scene. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to group it. So, object carefully group. Control G is a shortcut. You can even press Control G on your keyboard. Uh, okay. Now I'm pressing Control G again. Yeah. Here you go. It is a group. And the group name was named as group number one. You can clearly see that my group my group has means pivot point uh, in the center of the origin, that is the center of the grid. Uh, whereas my object, you can see that whereas my object pivot point is on the center of the uh, object, but whereas my group pivot point is the center on the is on the center of the origin. Whenever if you create a group, it is, it will create its pivot point in the center of the origin. That is the center of the grid. Okay, I think you are clear. Uh, got clearly it now. Okay, then uh, in edit, I am going to duplicate these objects. In edit, I have Control D is a shortcut for it. I duplicated the object and I press E on my keyboard. For uh, rotation tools, and I am going to rotate it by 72 or something like that. Yes, of course. Yes, this I think this works for me. I just rotated it uh, normally. You can rotate it uh, with some values on your mind, it's uh, it depends on you. And uh, what I'm going to do is in edit, we have a duplicate with transform option, and the shortcut for this uh, shift D. I'll, I'll just pr press shift D. What shift D do is it will just copy the transformation also. In so the rotation of your uh, y axis is like 75 degrees. It will rotate in the same way. It, it will rotate uh, 75 plus 75 plus 75 plus 75 in the, in the same way. Now I'm just going to move the, move the vertices of my center to a little bit upside and just to give some uh, extra effect in that. That's it, nothing more than that. You can see that. Uh, my boxes has been created in a circular way, like a uh, like a uh, fan or something like that from the center. And you can see they were individually grouped, and the individual have yet have their indi uh, individual group have their individual object, but all the all uh, the uh, the groups have a point on the center. Always groups should have their pivot points on the center. Thank you.